Republican Matt Bevin had a surprising victory in the Kentucky governor race. Uh, he had won the primary by just 83 votes, and the Republican Governors Association pulled its advertising support in September, which is usually a sign that it's over, son. Game, set, match. You're going to lose. Poll showed the Democrat absolutely trouncing him until a few weeks ago. But then out of nowhere, uh, he ended up winning. So let me give you what Raw Story says on this. Quote, he threw his support behind anti-gay clerk Kim Davis in her fight against gay marriage. Oh boy. Uh, let me pause right here. Really, Kentucky? Really? That's who you supported? Kim Davis, the, the, the poster child of Christian Sharia. <laughs> The person who wants a theocracy and is open about it and is such a hypocrite herself because she's been remarried multiple times, which is also sinning. But she's allowed to do that. She's allowed to violate uh, God's law. But the gays, fuck you, you can't violate God's law. And I love how she said, no, it's okay because I, I said to God, I'm sorry. So then now it's okay that I live in sin. That's the argument she made. Well, then by your own logic, why can't the gays come in to you and they get the license and they say, God, my bad dog, I'm getting gay married. And then you got to give them the license because, hey, they said sorry, so now you got to let them live in sin. That's what that's the standard you abide by. Why don't you allow that for them too? unbelievable? A guy who supported Kim Davis won. Let me continue. Bevan also denied his involvement in a rally last year to legalize cockfighting in Kentucky until a reporter confronted him with video evidence of the candidate expressing his support for the illegal sport as a state's rights issue. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. So I like how he denied it. He's like, no, I wasn't there. Really? Here's a video of you there. Oh. Yeah, you got me. I'm a liar. But that does, that does prove he's a liar. You know, whatever you think about how trivial that issue is, he's a fucking liar. So now we know that, but it gets even worse. They continue. He also lied repeatedly through both campaigns about whether he had been delinquent on property taxes he owed in Louisiana and on a vacation home in Maine. Bevin also ran on his opposition to Common Core, which many conservatives believe is a liberal or Islamic conspiracy, although a company partly owned by Bevin sells education software that closely matches the federal education standards. This guy is unbelievable. Look at this liberal Islamic conspiracy here, it taking over Common Core. Anyway, I just made a few thousand bucks off of selling Common Core. Oh my god. So sleazy, so grimy, so weird, and such a fucking liar. Uh, and then Bevin, they say, supports a repeal of Medicaid after Democratic Governor Steve Bashir expanded health care coverage under Obamacare. Okay, so here's where the fun in games stops. Here's where it gets really, really serious. Dude, you, you ran to be governor, you won, and one of the things he was arguing for in the campaign was... Uh, yeah, I'm going to repeal Obamacare. I, I want to get rid of that. You know, the Medicaid expansion, which was under Obamacare, we want to get rid of that. And people voted for him. Okay, now over 400,000 people in Kentucky might lose their health insurance. See, this is why Democrats need to wake up, man. You got to get with it. If you don't go vote, stuff like this is going to happen. And to the dumbass Republican voters in Kentucky, they don't even realize what they're doing. And this is why they need to educate themselves and not be ignorant. Because Mitch McConnell pulled this trick too when he was running for re-election against Allison Lundergan Grimes for the Senate. Where he said, in a debate, oh, I'm against Obamacare. I still want to repeal Obamacare. But I love Connect. Now, Connect is Obamacare in Kentucky. That's what they call their Medicaid system. It's called Connect. So when he says, ah, oh, I like Connect, but I want to repeal Obamacare, that's like saying, I like Obamacare, but I want to repeal Obamacare. Because the expansion of Connect was part of Obamacare. That's the Medicaid expansion. No, this is unbelievable. So they got rid of the Democratic governor. Well, actually, that's not fair because the Democratic governor stepped down. There's term limits, and then it was a new Democratic candidate running against him. So instead of voting for the Democrat to assure that they're going to continue to get their health insurance... They're like, no, let's go with the other guy. Guys, no hyperbole, no exaggeration. People die as a result of this shit. You know, we covered the, the study from Harvard on the show about a year ago, year and a half ago or so. 
where they found that thousands of people have died because uh, many Republican governors have refused to accept the Medicaid expansion. And now we have people running on, on platforms saying, that's what I'm going to do. And they win. 